What's up, everybody? Man, it's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Dropping Dimes with Mr. Duga. <laughs> and today I'm going to talk about my LSU Tiger players. Seven of them um, competed in today's LSU Pro Day. And I must say, they, they did their thing today, yo. Um, but before I get into this video, man, for everyone, if you want to give me a file on my social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, um, so feel free to DM me, and whenever I get a chance to, I'll get back at you. Um, come highlight at your boy, yo. Uh, first, shout out to all seven of those guys, man. Um, <laughs> but of course, I'm going to... I'm gonna, um, Start off with the headline grab, but the guy that, you know, I know that the majority of the scouts, you know, went over there to see. And that's 2019 Belitnikoff winner, Jamar Chase, who absolutely dazzled at his pro day to day. Um, when you talk about he ran a 4-3-8 today, and I know these times are unofficial and stuff like that, but he ran a 4-3-8, had what a 41 inch vertical. Um, he didn't hit the bench press today, but reports from when he last hit it in front of everybody, he benched two, um, he, he benched 225, th 23 times, <laughs> like just wow. And obviously running his routes out there with a hat on his head, nevertheless, he just ran everything fluently, caught a bunch of passes including one that was kind of throwing a little off target on the sideline. And he went up there, caught it, put one foot down and dragged the other foot. So basically he ready. Jamar Chase ready. Um, of course, as a Tiger, as an LSU Tiger friend, I would have loved to see him out there last year. But like I said, when he decided to opt out, I mean, he ain't need to be out there. <laughs> and it shows today he's going to probably, most likely, be the first receiver taken in the draft. Um, I don't think he get past six of the Miami Dolphins. Maybe go five and meet meet our boy Jambalaya Burrow in Cincinnati. But I don't think he gets past six with the Miami Dolphins. Um, then you had Terrence Marshall who, who ran a who ran a four three eight also. Um, that's pretty impressive considering his size, considering him being a big physical wide receiver. Um, you know, I think he's going to climb up a couple of draft boards. I know a lot of mock drafts and all that had him as like a second rounder. I think he could possibly, you know, sneak into the late first round stages. Um, you know, Jacoby Stevens, man, um, 42 inch vertical for big like he is. That, and you, I remember seeing him when he had the one handed miss, uh, interception against Mississippi State. The national championship game, so you could have seen his athleticism. I think, I still think, ultimately he's going to move to linebacker at some point. Um, but you know, that's a great vertical time for him. Racing McMatt ran a four-three-four. Um, as we've known with LSU receivers throughout the years, a lot of them you get the best out of them on the next level than what they had at LSU because you know they get they get in, into programs with coaches that unlock their potential, unlock their talent, and they go out there and they do their thing. Uh, Racy McMack could be one of those receivers that he gets with a good organization, good coaching staff, and he could start really, really making a lot of plays out there. Then, I mean, it was hard for him to get on the field when you consider, you know, he got injured this year, and then last year, obviously, he was behind, you know, potentially maybe three first-round wide receivers. Um Kerry Vincent ran a four, uh, a four three three. One thing we know about Vincent, we knew he was. I think he, he was a track guy. We knew he was extremely fast. That's a really good time for him, man. Um, only thing he's a little smaller, but um, with 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 a time like that, man, somebody go take a chance on him. Um, and he could be potentially do some things in the NFL. Um, Tyler Shelvin, um, still got to drop a little more weight, but he came in at 350. Um, you know, he's a dominant run stuff in the middle of the field. He's going to be a first, maybe second or possibly third round pick, depending on, you know, what teams need. I don't think he get past the third round. Um, so he did his thing today. And I did Tony Carter was out there, um, I think today also. I didn't really see no, no clips of him. Um, but I knew he was supposed to be out there. Um, so shout out to all those guys, man. As an LSU fan, um, you know, I'm proud. I wish all of them luck, wish them well. Um, and I hope they get, 
you know, not only get drafted as high as they could potentially get drafted, but most of even more importantly than that, um, you know, good health, good success. And I hope they go to the best situation where the, the most of their talents could get displayed, yo. Shout out to all of those Tigers out there. Um, but with that being said, yo, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I'm going to have LSU and NCAA content throughout the year. Also, this coming Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 Central, 4 Pacific. I'm going to do a live Q&A. Y'all come on there, ask me anything, tell me anything. I'll answer your questions, respond to your comments, and give you a shout-out on the live, yo. Y'all should join me. It'll be some good stuff. Until then, yo, y'all have a blessed one. Go Tigers.